good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I would like to just thank you all for joining us today for an announcement that I know that Albertans have been waiting a long time for. And I would like to just offer a special thanks to Joel Ruff from the Alberta Motor Association and Derek McMillan from the Association of Alberta Registry Agents for joining me today. So what are we here to discuss today? Well, as many of you know, for the last several years, our government has been looking for ways to improve the way we deliver services to Albertans. This has included offering an online birth registry and letting Albertans renew their vehicle registrations from the convenience of their own homes. There have been great accomplishments and there has been significant take up by Albertans for these new online services. Since June of 2020, more than 350,000 transactions have been completed online, but we're not finished yet. Technology is rapidly transforming our lives and the last few years have accelerated our opportunity to rethink how we meet Albertans needs and meet them where they are. Alberta's technology entrepreneurs are leading the way for us in offering innovative products for Albertans from online banking to uh, artificial intelligence. It's time that our government does its part to better connect Albertans with the services that they need. I have been working closely with our registry agent partners, the Association of Alberta Registry Agents and the Alberta Motor Association, who are both here with me today and to look for ways that we can offer even more registry services online while we continue to also give Albertans the option of in-person services. So that's why we're here today. Through hard work within Service Alberta and with our registry partners, I am pleased to announce that starting tomorrow, Albertans will be able to access another highly demanded registry service online. Effective May 17th, eligible Albertans will be able to renew their driver's licenses and their ID identification cards online. This is big news for Albertans. I've heard from so many of them who have been asking for the ability to renew their driver's licenses and ID cards online. And so I'm very excited to be able to make this announcement today that these services will now be a reality for Albertans. This is a service that affects nearly every Albertan. And in fact, last year, almost 550,000 Albertans renewed their driver's licenses and over 27,000 Albertans renewed their ID cards. I think we can all relate to a time when we forgot that our license was due for renewal. And now Albertans will have yet another choice with more convenience to renew their licenses on their phone or computer, whatever time it is, wherever they are, and have their new card arrive directly at their house just days later. I'll go into some of the details of how this process will work. This online service is being offered alongside our existing online services available through My Alberta eServices. Eligible Albertans will log on to My Alberta eServices with their verified accounts to access the service. And if they do not already have an account, they can sign up for free. The secure verification process proves the identity of an, Al of an Albertan online in the same way that a driver's license or ID card does in person. The address, demographic information, photo and signature that is on your current card will be reapplied to your renewed license. Once the transaction is complete, you will be able to download a receipt or a temporary driver's license if you need it. I'm also excited to share that starting tomorrow, regardless of whether you renew your license online or in person at a registry agent office, you will now be able to keep your old card until the new one arrives. Albertans will now remain in possession of photo ID through the renewal process. We know how one of the biggest inconveniences around renewing a license is having to surrender the old cards to a registry agent at the time of renewal and having to rely on a temporary paper license. I am happy to say that we are getting rid of this inconvenience for those who have an existing card that they are simply renewing. Instead, Albertans will now be asked to destroy their old photo ID cards as soon as their new ones arrive in the mail. Now, I do want to stress it will remain an offense to be in possession of more than one driver's license or ID card at a time, but we have consulted with law enforcement before making this change and they have assured us that they are comfortable with this approach. And I also want to point out that this is consistent with the approaches that other provinces have taken. As I mentioned, I'm happy to have representatives here with me from our registry agent partners, independent registries represented by the uh, Association of Alberta Registry Agents and the Alberta Motor Association. We have been working closely 
with both of these organizations to provide more registry services online uh, and more, more options and more choice and more convenience for Albertans. Many Albertans want the choice and convenience to complete these services online, but there are still those who prefer to go into a registry agent office and have face-to-face -face interaction, and they will still have that option. There are many registry service transactions that cannot be done online today, and we, re we rely on our registry agent partners to provide efficient and effective in-person service in those situations. These include first-time license applications or those with additional requirements that do require in-person validation. And so I am grateful for their support as we work together to modernize registry services in Alberta. I'm extremely proud of all the work that has gone into bringing these new services online, and I'd like to thank everyone who has been involved with this since the beginning, including the staff in our registry services team at Service Alberta. And I look forward to continuing to innovate and improve the ways in which we serve Albertans. With that said, I would like to introduce Derek McMillan, the AARA Vice President and CEO and, co CEO and Founder of Mac Registries to say a few words. Thank you, Minister Glubish, for inviting us here today. Registries are a cornerstone of our communities and a part of Alberta, every Albertan's life, from birth to death and everything in between. <clears throat> our innovative and uniquely Albertan registry model ensures Albertans can access registry services, whether in person or online. It's a great example of how public and private partnerships should work. <clears throat> Albertans registry agents are pleased to partner with Service Alberta to modernize registry services for all Albertans. As more services are offered online, this is a great step forward that Albertans are coming to expect. We've been pleased with the collaboration by this government and Minister Glubish, and look forward to working in partnership as we continue to offer convenient and accessible channels for Albertans to access registry services. <clears throat> our, members, our members know that Albertans expect to access government products and services on their phones or their computers. That's why we led the charge in developing online services over 20 years ago with online vehicle renewals in partnership with the government of Alberta. <clears throat> and it's why our memberships contribute financially to expand our online registry services and why we continue to adapt and propose innovative solutions to registry services. We encourage Albertans to support their local registry by choosing them as an agent of record when accessing online registry services and to visit their local registry if they encounter any issues. Our professional registry clerks are always willing to help you. We are so pleased to be working with Service Alberta and other stakeholders to ensure Albertans have access to online registry services. While I thank you, I want to invite Joel Ruff with Alberta Motors Association up. Thank you, Derek. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you to Minister Glubish for hosting us today. Registry services play a quiet but a very meaningful role in an Albertan's life. We help see people through some of their biggest milestones and life moments. Everything from registering that very first car to welcoming a new baby to starting a new business. A driver's license or an ID card is so much more than a piece of plastic. It unlocks key services that empower Albertans to live life with confidence. Access to something this important needs to be convenient, modern, and accessible. AMA strongly supports our ongoing efforts to modernize registry services, including today's important addition. Because Albertans deserve easy and modern access to these essential services. We know that Albertans live busy and demanding lives where accessing services in person is not always the best fit, certainly not for the healthcare workers whose shifts prevent them from running errands during business hours, not for the frontline workers who don't have the ability to take time away from their jobs to visit a registry, not for the single parents whose only free time is when their kids are asleep, and I think we all know even that time isn't truly their own. Today mean, news, today's news means AMA can be there for all of our members when and where it makes sense for their lifestyle. This is something we strive for across our association, recognizing that the more services we can offer online, the easier they'll be for everyone to access. We're fully committed to supporting a convenient, modern, and accessible registry experience 
that meets Albertans where they're at. And that's what today's announcement will empower us to do. As more and more of our world goes digital, you can be assured of AMA's commitment to develop a wide range of online services that support our members across their lives' journeys. We couldn't be more pleased that driver's license and ID card renewals are now among them. Thank you. I will now turn it over to Lindsay to moderate questions. Okay, thanks everyone. We'll now move into the Q&A. So we'll do one question and one follow-up. Uh, just please identify yourself and your outlet. Um, we'll start on the floor for reporters in the room. Uh, so go ahead. Yeah, so uh, Catherine Grifkowski, Alberta today. So I'm trying to get a sense of how this works. So if you, if you go to the portal on the government website and renew, is it the government that issues the ID or can you go to your favorite registry's website and say, hey, I want to renew my ID and, and go there? How does, how does the actual, how does it work? Yeah, thank you. A really good question. So for me, as we've been working to uh, collaborate with our registry partners to deliver more services online, again, for the purpose of giving Albertans more choice and convenience, it was important to make sure that it was simple, easy, and standardized. And so uh, you can go to the e-services portal, um, but part of how we have partnered with the registry partners is to say that once you've selected your service, in this case, an online driver's license renewal, for example, you would then select which registry agent uh, you wish to, to be the partner that is helping to fulfill uh, your renewal, and, uh, and it will be treated as if you had gone in person to that registry. Did you have a follow-up? Yeah, um, and it's, it's mentioned here in the, the news release that it, the verification process, it doesn't track any user interactions or store any information. I know there's a lot of conspiracy theorists and paranoia about this digital ID. Um, so can you, can you just say, say that, like explain how it's basically the same information that would be collected anyway? Yeah, so this is, this is no different than if you were going into uh, a registration in person, you would be showing your physical ID to uh, renew it. In this case, you will simply be logging in to your online account with My Alberta eServices uh, in order to verify who you are and, uh, and to use that verified account in order to renew the service. So, uh, the, you know, I think Albertans are very used to, for example, logging into their online banking accounts. Uh, they're very used to logging into all kinds of online accounts to, uh, to interact with a ver various online services. And this will be very similar to that uh, and will be designed with the highest degrees of standards of uh, the Alberta government's uh, security and online protocols to protect uh, the privacy of Albertans. So I'm hearing we have no uh, questions on the phone. Did you, so did you want to ask another question? Yeah, um, um, and then on this um, temporary license, it's, it says both that you can download a temporary license or you could keep your, your old one. So if it's, this is the first time you're getting your license, I, I guess you don't have a photo on file, but when would you download a temporary license versus when would you just hang on to the old card. Yeah, another good question. So first to clarify, if you're getting your license for the first time, the online option is not an option. Uh, you will still need to go in to get your first uh, photo ID uh, through a registry partner. Um, if you are renewing and you choose to do so online, uh, you can retain the, the old ID for the purposes of having a photo ID, but that ID itself will not be valid because it's expired, right? You will still need the temporary ID to demonstrate that you have a valid uh, ID. So the two will work hand in hand. And this is simply just to address that problem of, you know, if you had to surrender your photo ID at the registry to get your new ID and all you have for two weeks or 10 days or however long it takes uh, is a paper temporary ID, then if you did, you know, in that time period need to go somewhere where you had to show a photo ID, you were in a tough spot. This way you can still have the photo proving who you are, you have the temporary ID that shows that it's a valid uh, current ID, and then when you receive the new photo ID in the mail, you can dispose of the old ID. Did you have a follow-up? And that, and that organ donation piece that's um, asked at the registry, is that going to be on there as well where you get the little art on your license? Yeah, if you have already selected to have uh, the disclosure of being an organ donor, uh, then the new IDs uh, will continue to show that. Did you have a question that you wanted to ask? Yes, uh, any job losses? Pardon me? 
It, it, could you foresee any job losses because of this in any of the offices? Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it's been very important to me to make sure that uh, we protect the sustainability and viability of our registry agent network. They deliver such an important service on behalf of the government of Alberta to Albertans. We have hundreds and hundreds of registry agent locations across the province in urban and rural communities. And the, the sustainability of that agent network is critically important. That is why when I became minister and I began this important work of modernizing our services and bringing more of them online, I wanted to make sure we did that in collaboration with and not in competition with the registry agent network. And that's why I'm so pleased again to have the AMA and the AARA here with me today uh, to support this announcement. So uh, my expectation is that this will facilitate a strong and secure future for our registry agent partners. Did you have a follow up? Uh, okay, we'll move to the phones. Operator, can you please put through the first caller? Dan Sickleton, Great West. Uh, hello, Minister. Uh, wondering if you, uh, the press release says uh, if you have, uh, uh, you want to change address, height, uh, driver's license, or, or on ID, do you have to, have to go into a registry to do that? Do you want to make changes to demographic information? Yeah, that's correct. Um, and that, again, is to ensure that we can protect the, the security of the system. So the online renewal is for if nothing is changing uh, and you already have an existing photo ID with the Government of Alberta, then you are able to make use of this service. Did and we know that the vast majority of Albertans who are renewing their licenses would be eligible for this kind of service. Did you have a follow-up question? Uh, just to be clear, so if you want, want to make changes to your address or demographic, you have to go into a registry office. In person. That, that is correct, yes. Thank you. Uh, okay. okay. Thank we'll, you, Minister. We'll do one last call to the room. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, everybody.